Have you heard the news? The rock and roll evening news. Extra, extra. Read all about it. This is the Rock and Roll Evening News for the last week of 1986 with Steve Kometko and Marjorie Wallace, Elton John in Dallas, Bob Hilburn in Bruce Springsteen's hometown of Freehold, New Jersey, Kenny Loggins in Houston, Adrienne Meltzer with the Bodines in New York, Kenny Rogers in Colbert, Georgia, our man Clarence with What It Was 1986 in Review, and in concert, direct from our studios in Hollywood, New Shoes. This is a special holiday edition of the Rock and Roll Evening News for the fourth week of December 1986, and this is New Shoes. As we mentioned, this is a special edition of the Rock and Roll Evening News, a pre-New Year's Eve gala of sorts, featuring some of the biggest names in rock and roll. And besides our regular lineup of stories and interviews, we're going to reprise a few of our most popular features from past shows. And joining me in the studio is our Marjorie Wallace. Happy New Year, Margie. Thanks, Steve. You too. Tonight we'll celebrate with Elton John as he talks about his fantastic comeback this year. And Bob Hilburn takes us to Freehold, New Jersey, Bruce Springsteen's hometown, for a look at how the legend began. We'll also meet the new Iggy Pop. He's put his self-destruction on hold. And we'll also talk to Kenny Loggins about his spectacular success in Hollywood. And we'll show you the rock and photographic sides of Kenny Rogers, plus our man Clarence with a look back at 1986 and our new band of the week, the Bodines. All that and even more in two minutes and two seconds. of Bruce Springsteen. His five-album live set released last month touched off a buying frenzy in record stores across the country. And some of our strongest viewer response came when we sent senior correspondent Bob Hilburn to Springsteen's hometown of Freehold, New Jersey to trace Bruce's early days. So let's take another look at one of our favorite stories of our first few months. 